Hi guys, welcome back. I am Vivek Singhal from tradingwithvivek.com and uh, today we are going to talk about price book value ratio. This is one of the main ratios uh, which is used while uh, we do analyze a stock on fundamental background and uh, so b because this is uh, important to uh, know about uh, everything uh, theoretically as well as the practical use and significance of these ratios uh, uh, as far as the fundamental analysis is concerned uh, because if we will understand how does it get calculated what is the significance why it was originated in early days and uh, how do we apply it here on different different industries then uh, we will have a more meaningful uh, analysis and that will be uh, of much more practical use so uh, we will understand first the theoretical part then uh, we will understand how to use it uh, practically uh, but before moving ahead there is a small disclaimer that whatever stocks we would be discussing uh, during this uh, video uh, means everything would be only for illustration purpose and for understanding the concept and it will not be a recommendation to buy or sell and uh, one more thing if you yet not have subscribed the channel do subscribe because uh, i will keep on coming in with uh, much more knowledge that will uh, keep on improving our investing and technical skills so here is the theoretical formula uh, this is a uh, price uh, book value ratio is actually derived uh, if we do divide the share price by book value per share so uh, here uh, price uh, share price means the current market price of the stock of the company and uh, the book value per share again uh, is a term uh, which is derived as follows uh, this is uh, uh, book value per share is equal to uh, basically shareholders fund divided by total number of shares so it means whatever is the uh, net worth of companies shareholders that need to be divided by the total number of shares and we will have the book value per share so uh, what do we mean by shareholders fund it means the total fund of the company after paying off all the obligations of the company like uh, debt or other liabilities uh, and uh, if we have a simple uh, calculation of it then uh, this is uh, shareholders fund means the share capital plus general reserve this general reserve does not constitute the uh, uh, revaluation reserve so what do we mean by revaluation reserve uh, this is basically suppose uh, for example one company had bought a land almost 10 years back and uh, that land was bought for 100 crore but today the value of that land is not 100 crore that may be going up to uh, 150 crore or uh, it may be 200 crore uh, so uh, the companies sometimes do get it revalued uh, by the third party or by the independent authorities. So suppose today the value is 150 crore. So 50 crore would be coming in in balance sheet as revaluation reserve. Uh, so uh, while calculating this book value, we will not consider this 50 crore rupees, uh, which is the part of revaluation reserve. We will consider only whatever has been uh, made through uh, the operations of the company uh, by the uh, by earning net profit so uh, this will be share capital plus general reserve and uh, so so this will be the shareholders fund if we do divide the shareholder fund by uh, total number of shares then it will be book value per share and if we do uh, divide uh, share price by this book value per share then we will have price book value ratio uh, so uh, this is a practical this is a theoretical meaning of it and uh, uh, but uh, you know uh, all, all these figures and ratios are readily available nowadays on uh, all almost all public domain like nsc bsc money control and uh, screener.n however uh, still we must know about uh, what is the real meaning of these terms and how these are calculated because then only we can use these practically in uh, analyzing the stocks on fundamental basis and, uh, and now let's move on to how to use this term price book value ratio practically see uh, we will take an example here uh, say for example this uh, tata steel uh, tata steel share price is uh, quoting at 373 almost and the book value per share is 661 so if we will divide the price by book value uh, 373 divided by 661 so 
uh, we will have uh, price book value ratio this price book value ratio is uh, uh, called pbv ratio as well uh, so this is 0.56 it means uh, when we are buying one share of tata steel then we are paying point 0.56 uh, for every one rupee worth of assets and uh, say uh, we will take an, another example of JSW steel uh, here the share price is 220 and the book value is 151 so uh, price book value would be uh, 1.45 in this case so here uh, we are paying 1.45 rupees for every one uh, rupee worth of assets so uh, here the shares of Tata Steel is available at a cheaper valuation in uh, comparison of GHW Steel. So this is how this is used in fundamental analysis and uh, uh, but we must remember that both the stocks should be from the same industry as uh, we have taken both the companies that is Tata Steel and GHW Steel from uh, Steel industry itself. And we do need to remember uh, a lot of uh, other things as well like uh, we must not compare uh, steel companies uh, price to book value ratio with IT companies or uh, FMCG companies or uh, pharma companies. So this is the first thing and uh, second thing uh, price book value ratio as for my understanding is of no use while analyzing uh, shares of FMCG company or consumer durables or healthcare product businesses or IT companies because real value of these companies are the brand value. And the pricing power of their products for example like Nestle, uh, Hindustan Unilever, Britannia, Dabur, Procter & Gamble uh, see these companies uh, real value is the brand value of their product like Hindustan Unilever there is a Dove uh, so uh, maybe uh, uh, nothing is uh, you know much bigger portion can be attributed to uh, book value as far as uh, just a dove product is dove brand name is concerned but if the company will sell this uh, dove uh, brand name in the market to it, another company it may be sold for uh, a few thousand crore rupees so uh, we need to understand that where the real use of price to book value ratio is uh, basically price to book value ratio is uh, generally used in manufacturing companies where there are real hardcore assets in the company like uh, textile mills like cement companies like sugar companies and uh, yeah, any other manufacturing companies like steel companies where there is a huge land bank available with the companies and uh, uh, huge machinery setback is uh, there uh, huge machinery sets uh, are available so in case if the company goes into liquidation then companies uh, you know shareholders could get some value uh, out of uh, selling of these assets those are land and machineries and all uh, but here now in nowadays when uh, id companies uh, real assets are the technology they have uh, you know built up over a period of time that may not have uh, any significant book value in the balance sheet for that technology or for that patent uh, so uh, we cannot use the this price to book value ratio in analyzing the fundamental uh, you know uh, state uh, of uh, any of the id companies uh, so uh, we need to have a look at it practically that where we are going to use this price to book value ratio and moreover in trading when we are talking about trading it must never be used at all because in trading the price action real price action based on their uh, technical chart patterns and uh, uh, where there is a base formation when there is a head and shoulder pattern breakout or any other res support and resistances breakout or uh, any any other thing candlestick chart patterns the trading should be done based on that in trading it should never be done but as far as the fundamental analysis is concerned see in early days when this price book value ratio was uh, you know uh, brought in uh, so that time was different totally different but now the time is different here the real assets are are not that land bank or that uh, huge machines or and or, or, or these things this is the technology and this is the uh, patents and these are the you know copyrights and all these are the real assets which may not be uh, a big part of the balance sheet so we need to have a look at it theoretically yeah, i have told you what what is the real meaning of it and uh, practically also we need to understand that where it should be used and uh, moreover the price to book value ratio of two different industries should never be compared together in the same industry it 
may still be used but of two different industries it it can never be uh, used in fundamental analysis also if you have any kind of doubt or query or question do write in the comment box i will try to answer all of them and uh, i will keep on coming in with the new knowledge to improve our trading and uh, investing skills uh, if you yet not have subscribed do subscribe i am vivek single from tradingwithvivek.com have a great day thank you